In Muskingum County today, Vice President Mike Pence delivered a speech during a Workers for Trump event. It's our top story tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rich Pierce. And I'm Kate Davis and Pence hitting a number of topics, including the pandemic. News 9's Gage Golding reports now from Zanesville. While fully reopening, the Buckeye State is still at the top of the list for Mike Pence. He says finding a cure for COVID-19 and getting it distributed around the country is up there as well. At the Muskingum County Fairgrounds, the vice president addressed a crowd just 48 days from the November 3rd election. Pence serves as the head of the White House Coronavirus Task Force and praised President Donald Trump's quick action to shut down travel to China, where the virus originated. I know that action saved untold American lives, and it bought us invaluable time to stand up the greatest national mobilization since World War II. Even as thousands of Americans continue to test positive for the virus, the VP boasted the country's ability to keep its head above water when it comes to ventilators. No American that ever required a ventilator was ever denied a ventilator in the United States of America, and we are well on our way to having a vaccine before the end of this year. And we will begin to deliver it to the American people the moment it's approved. While the pandemic rages on, masks were largely off. Jennifer Morrison is one of many who had crossed state lines to attend. Are you concerned about the coronavirus? No. Why is that? Um, I just not concerned about it. I think it's been blown out of proportion. Vice President Pence also giving a kudos to Ohio Governor Mike DeWine. The crowd reacting with a mix of applause and boos. He has led this state strongly through a challenging time. And he has our thanks. The vice president not shying away from taking shots at the man who held the job before him. In the middle of a global pandemic, Joe Biden wants to raise taxes by $4 trillion. The good news out of this event surrounding COVID-19, Vice President Pence saying 10.6 million Americans have already returned to work. Reporting in Zanesville for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.